Peace family, Vicki Dillon here. So pleased to be a contributor on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you share the broadcast, give us a big thumbs up and be sure to engage. Thank you so much. This is important um, to alerting others that we are here. And how many of you all know that you're independent alternative black media, such as uh, this platform, we are the counter voice to the dominant society's uh, media apparatus. You assist us. Somebody black talk black to me. We're making an impact on the world because of you. So for that, we say thank you so very much. Now, family, I want you to consider something. I have been uh, on multiple platforms for uh, a few years now, and um, because of my health, I had to slow down for a minute, uh, but bit by bit, I'm uh, still contributing on different platforms, so my message is being seeded out in different spaces, right? This is important because you never know who's listening, and certain the powers that shouldn't be are listening. Now, I prophesied or I foretold long ago that the original man and woman, such as uh, the black man and woman in America, of course, we're not the only original people, somebody talk black to me, but our unique role that we played in the creation and the building of America. Don't you ever forget that. We invented America <laughs> and we brought it into existence. And so this American dream, this project that folk from around the world flee to is because we thought of it. We brought it into existence. Somebody talk black to me. It was already ours before the uh, 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 our open enemy came in to turn it into something else. But we're the ones that actually caused it to be. That's us. Well, beloved. The true founding fathers and mothers of the United States of America, we've not received one red cent for its building, for its creation. But multiple other groups have. People that have uh, fled from Ukraine have. Legal and illegal immigrants have received all kinds of financial, economic, and political benefits. It's all black to me. Other people groups have. But we have it. And I spoke into existence long ago that because America chose to prioritize others over us, give benefits politically and economically to others over us, that the very people she's opening up her arms to to come to the country, they would find out later were actually spies from their nation. Beloved, that prophecy has been borne out. One such example, and I want to give you this, this bit of information. I'm going to give you uh, 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 a couple of different ones here that I am surmising and that appears to be a confirmation of what I'm trying to say. Talk black to me. And this New York Times piece just released, literally just released, Headline says, a former FBI, a former top FBI official was charged with money laundering. He is accused of taking payments from a Russian oligarch to investigate a rival. Watch this. A former high-level FBI official has been indicted in New York and Washington, D.C. on charges of taking money from a former foreign intelligence service agent and conspiring to violate U.S. sanctions on Russia by taking secret payments from a Russian oligarch, Oleg V. Deripaska, the authority said on Monday. The former official Charles, Charles McGonagall, who had been a special agent in charge of the FBI's counterintelligence division in New York before he retired in 2018. Y'all better pay attention had supervised and participated in investigations of Russian oligarchs, including Mr. Deripaska, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan said. Federal prosecutors said Mr. McGonigal, 54, broke U.S. law by agreeing to help Mr. Deripaska, who himself was indicted last year, on sanctions charges attempted to get off the sanctions list and by investigating a rival oligarch. The charges are an extremely serious, y'all listen, 
The charges are an extremely serious and rare accusation against an FBI official. And they demonstrate that the reach of Russia's oligarchs can extend, y'all listen, into the heart of American law enforcement. Black family, both the FBI, CIA, local and state law enforcement agents, since its inception, before they were even official or created under such names, even when they had paddy wagons, even when they had paddy wagons and personally paid headhunters, let's call them, to seek for slaves that escaped. These groups were always used against Black Americans. And now we have exposed over and over and over and over again that they have been infiltra infiltrated officially, the military and law enforcement, local and state and federal, with bona fide, certified, provable white supremacist organizations. And these very organizations now, these very law enforcement agencies, and mind you, Stay tuned for hearing stories about the military, I surmise, are now the very organs and entities that are being proven to be infiltrated by foreigners. I prophesied long ago that because America prioritizes others, that the divine government, the invisible spiritual government that will do justice for us, even when we can't do it for ourselves, will begin to cause America to be exposed with internationals that are going to be utilizing inside knowledge, inside U.S. knowledge for their own governments. That ain't all. Let me give you another example. This piece came out, I'm reading now from CNBC, came out not too long ago, the end of 2022 in December. Former Twitter employee sentenced to more than three years in prison for spying for Saudi Arabia. A former Twitter employee found guilty of spying on users on behalf of the Saudi royal family has been sentenced to three and a half years in prison. Ahmad Abu Amo, that's that Mississippi pronunciation. God, today. A dual U.S. Lebanese citizen who helped oversee media partnerships for Twitter in the Middle East and North Africa was part of a scheme to acquire the personal information of users, including phone numbers of birth dates for a Saudi government agent. He was sentenced Wednesday in the U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California. Now, this piece came out in terms of, uh, of them officially uh, being convicted, but it was going on for a year or two before that, I believe it was. Right around the time that I was uh, by, under inspiration said it, in my broadcast live. Let me tell you something. Black family, when we unify and come together and get on code, we must not look at the weapons and the technology and the resources that we don't have. Where's my gavel? Y'all know that the Vicky Show is a home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. This symbol is a sign of authority. This is not just a symbol that should be associated with the dominant society as judges and lawmakers and policymakers. Our word matters, beloved. Let me tell you something. Don't you ever look at what you don't have. You just focus on getting together, unifying about what's right and the unseen will assist us. America, beloved, you think you get in the way with putting others before us, giving justice and benefits to others because you refuse to do right by us. Let me tell you something. The government over your head that you can't see on the visible range is obviously working to bring about justice, whether you like it or lump it in supernatural ways. This is why I teach supernatural uh, spiritual courses at vickiplanet.com. Be sure, by the way, to go to my website and check out uh, my angel calendar, my messenger calendars. Get yours today at vickiplanet.com. The link is below. 
Beloved, I'm going to stay on these stories, but I just want to let you all know, and this is not to uh, uh, disrespect anybody that's legitimately coming to the country, but we want to say, hey, we, I love, I'm, a, I'm on an international network. I love my Black family around the world, my melanated family around the world. I'm the mother of civilization. But when we are bringing up these kinds of things, it's not to rebuke you beyond uh, belief. It's to bring correction. And you ought to want to be corrected. You ought not to want to have benefits from a nation where black blood was shed and, and we haven't been compensated. You ought to be advocating this. My international family. My name is Vicki Diller. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to share the broadcast. I can't wait to see you again.